Hey guys, so glad to see you again. Thanks for logging back onto my channel. My name is Kira and this is Island Socialist. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Island Socialist and my blog, islandsocialist.com. So I got a great make for you guys today. Tell me, Kira. Right, so I got a great look for you guys today. Um, this is the M044. Just stop, just stop. No? No? This is the only pattern, you know? You call any shirt pattern M6044 the button. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was close with something. So, anyway. This was a really, really, really good mate. I enjoyed making it. Kira, she was a little bit of help, but I did most of the work. As you can see, oh, well, it okay. fits splendidly. How did I do it? Well, I took some of this black fabric. This is called crepe and I took it I put it under here it's called cotton jersey right same thing I put <laughs> it under this and I pressed the pedal and it went zzz, zzz, and there's the button placket I made sure that the button, button placket was straight the collar it was double interface top and bottom no, it's not. the bottom <laughs> <laughs> okay you? So today I'm reviewing another polo. This is the Sinclair Patterns Oliver Polo. This one doesn't have as much options as the last one I showed you guys, the Love Motions one. But it fits him amazingly, in Perfect. my opinion. Perfectly. If you say so, yourself, you're so cocky. It does fit anyway, good. Anyway, so it does this fit one, good. the sizing goes from extra small to 2XL, I believe. But with each size, there are two sizes that fall under it. So for example, for the medium, which is what I made, you can do the 38 chest or the 40. I did the 40. I actually cut the 38 at first, well, the paper. And then I looked at it and I was like, because we had the broad shoulder issue with the last pattern, let me do the 40 because you can always take it and the 40 fit perfectly. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> One of the things that I love about this pattern is that you can choose from regular, short or tall. And I chose regular and the length on this, again, really, really, really good. Actually, I think this one is slightly longer it than, is the, longer previous than one. the previous one. So there's the standard bottom placket. The collar, this time I used interfacing on one of the collar pieces. I also top stitched the collar. This one also has <laughs> sleeve bands, which I really like on him, surprisingly. I, like like, sleeve I thought bands. I would have preferred just a regular him, but the sleeve bands make it look like a real polo. ready to wear polo, yeah. It also calls for top stitching on the shoulder seam and the sleeve seam would also help to make it look like a ready to wear polo. It also has a split hem again, but with this one, the seam allowances are only quarter inch. So it's really made for you to um, put it through a surgery really quickly. And because of that, the split hem is not as neat as the previous pattern. So the next time I think I'll actually use the hem piece from the other pattern but there's nothing else I would change on this. The only other thing is that because I didn't have any more French terry, I had to use the cotton jersey and doing buttonholes on this, it was sent from hell. The bottom placket. The bottom placket. No, the bottom holes. The actual bottom holes that my machine gave and a lot of And the bottom of holes are on the bottom placket. Yeah, but the bottom placket went in fine. The bottom placket on this is applied exactly the same as the Love Notions dock side, which is great because I watched a video for the dock side before making this one. So I was able to nail this right off the bat. I'm so good at this. <laughs> I may be better at men clothes than women clothes. Anybody could relate. Well, that's great. That's great. So therefore, you should only make male clothes. Turn around the back. This is the back. It has the same um, binding on the inside, but for this one, I actually use woven bias binding. The collar sits a lot better because it has an interfacing and it's top stitched. That is it. You can't turn around. Did you have anything else to mention? This one we didn't do any pocket because this pattern doesn't come with a pocket and I want you to do the pattern as is. What I have to say is that I absolutely love this pattern. It fits well. So like when you move, you ain't feeling it pulling on the back. Because you know how it was with the other pattern and then the polos that, we, that I would have buy. When you, if you move your back, it feels like if the back can burst. This one feels nice. It might be the part, might be the fabric that yeah, looser. I don't know. It's a 
Usually the polar patterns call for a low stretch fabric. This one actually has a lot more stretch than the call for. Which is why it gives me trouble with the button holes and so forth. And then, this is longer. Yeah. So I like, I like the length for this. So, you, you don't got it right enough and showing you know, all your boxes and stuff. So essentially, what is going to happen is I'm going to merge the two patterns. And you're going to make lots of these in black. I thought it was you that make it, so you're going to make a lot of them. But you got to learn. I got to train you. So that is our review of the Sinclair Patterns Oliver Polo. This is my first time using a Sinclair pattern. Who's Sinclair? You don't need to know all of that. I am impressed. Um, the Me way the pattern is drafted. It's well, well done. The instructions. Well done. well done, babes. The fact that when I bought the pattern, I posted in the Facebook group that I purchased the pattern and the owner, Oksana, she actually reached out to me, letting me know that she'd, um, she'd like to have my review. She'd like to know how it went. She wanted to know if I had any issues with the placket, etc. So yeah, we love this pattern and I'll definitely be using it again. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to join the notification gang. Um, what's, what's the rest of the things like YouTubers just said? Oh yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share. Yeah. That is it. So yeah, be cool. Peace. Now you gotta do this over. D sign off properly. Go. Bye.